This tiny needle is a major research area for Dr. Mark Prausnitz of the Laboratory for Drug Delivery. This microneedle is 500 microns long, and if you look closely at it, what you'll see is that it looks like a hypodermic needle. It's got a bevel tip and a hollow bore, and it's made of stainless steel, but it's just been scaled way down to a needle that's much smaller. Prausnitz says the size of the microneedle is ideal for making targeted drug injections into the eye to treat conditions such as corneal neovascularization. The microneedle is about as long as a regular hypodermic needle is wide. So it's a very small needle, and that is designed to correspond to the thickness of the cornea. So we've designed the needle so that it'll go about halfway into the cornea, not go all the way across, and, and not go too shallow either, just to get right into the center of the cornea where the drug needs to be. Corneal neovascularization is often treated with eye drops, but patient compliance is poor, and certain classes of drugs can't be absorbed from the surface of the eye, making microneedles a viable alternative. On the one hand, you may think, oh, well, why are you making exotic technology if you could just take eye drops? And the reason is, one, is the compliance is bad. So if you can go to the doctor's office and get this good treatment, and then it can, because it's so effective and targeted, it lasts you a long time, and you don't need to take eye drops at all, there's advantage. But there's a further advantage is we can deliver more kinds of drugs. Prausnitz has found that microneedles can also be used to deliver drugs to the back of the eye by injecting into a space between the choroid, the eye's vascular tissue, and the sclera, the white of the eye. We make an injection at that interface of sclera and choroid, and the fluid flows circumferentially within that space around the eye. So if we want to get drugs into the back of the eye, we can stick a needle at the very front and get the fluid to flow around to the back bathing the tissue that needs therapy, so bathing the, the choroid or the retina, those are the tissues that usually need therapy, in contrast to a conventional injection with the bigger needle, which goes in the middle of the eye and spreads the drug all over the place, thereby potentially leading to side effects and also just not using the drug as efficiently, not targeting it where it needs to be. Now Prausnitz is trying to determine the effects of drugs on parts of the eye that were unreachable before the use of microneedles. One of the things that we continue to work on is now that we can access different places in the eye that people have had difficulty accessing before, what happens to a drug when you put it there? How does it distribute? How is it cleared out of the eye? We need to understand the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics, what happens to a drug in the body when it's put into these new spaces that people really haven't looked at before.